When I was growing up, I was like envious of um, bass singers. And I'm not talking about your, your early morning or first thing in the morning bass. I'm talking the guys that were like, Oh, glory, if you ever needed the Lord before. Or even those that would go, Oh, glory, if you ever. That's it, I'm done, I'm done. I was envious of those kind of bass singers. Because every time they would sing, the girls would scream and go wild. And then I was also envious of the guys that sang like first tenor. And they'd be like, Up above my head, I hear music, yeah. When those kind of guys sung, the girls would scream and go crazy. And then like at the end of the concert, the girls would be on the, with the bass singer, they'll be with the first tenor singer. And, and I used to think, wow. Why didn't God give me a bass voice, you know, like not a f uh, first thing in the morning bass, like a proper bass voice, you know, um, a voice like this where you could speak so deep and you could command authority with a voice. That you, you know, you know, when you when you th when you think of God saying, let there be light, you, you don't think, let there be light. You think like, let there be light. See, so I wanted that kind of voice growing up. Now, my voice is um, right in the middle. It's not a first tenor. It's not a bass. It's. Mostly a second tenor to maybe a baritone face bass on a good day. Nobody screamed when I sung. Nobody screamed. Nobody screamed. Yeah, nobody screamed when I sang. I wanted those voices because they're the people that sang got the acclaim and were recognized for having a talent. But what I realized as I grew older that focusing on the gift that I didn't have or the talent that I didn't think I had meant that I wasn't focusing on that talent that God had actually given me because God gives everyone a gift. You have a gift. I have a gift. Everyone that is a child of God has a gift. And the problem with focusing on the gifts that others have and the gifts that you don't have is that you don't focus on the gift that you have. When God came to Moses, he said to Moses, what do you have in your hand? What is in your hand? And, and that rod that Moses had in his hand was used for mighty works. Yeah, I know he used Aaron's rod as well, but, but God used that rod. What did Moses have in his hand? And it was that thing that he had in, in, in his, his hand that God used. What do you have in your hand? That gift that God has given you is a gift that he expects you to use in ministry. If your gift is ch working with children, you work with those children with all your might. Stop looking at the gifts that others have or the gift that you don't have or the gift that you aspire to. You use the gift that God has given you. In the parable of the talents, we learn that if you use the gift that God has given you, he will multiply your gifts.